Today we're going to be buying the Albany Cavalcade XL. In order to get that vehicle, you're going to head over to Southern San Andreas Super Autos, and it's going to be right here. So if you do, if you're on a next gen console, it's going to be, and you have GTA Plus, it's going to be free. And to be honest with you, it's pretty slow. It handles pretty well, obviously. It's an SUV. That's pretty good at handling and braking, but as far as the speed is, it's actually pretty slow. Okay, the Cavaclade XL appears to be based on the 5th generation Cadillac Escalade. More specifically, the Escalade V, evident from the front lip spoiler and the bumper vents. The main bumper intake and the taillights resemble those from the 4th generation Escalade. The headlights are similar to the Cadillac CT4, with some elements taken from the Cadillac Escalade IQ. The rear bumper seems to be a mix of the 2022-2023 Lincoln Navigator and the 5th generation generation Chevy Tahoe. The Cavaclade XL features a chrome trim stripe on the boot that may be a callback to the Ford SUV, such as the 4th Gen Ford Expedition. The car appears as a four-door luxury SUV, appearing as a successor to the second generation Cavaclade. All right, let's now let's break down some of the modifications. So we have arch covers, basically fender covers. So you're going to have plastic. It looks That looks super strange right here. And here, I'm not sure. That's a little weird. Your primary, so then you go primary doesn't look too bad. It's still a little strange like this should be complete yeah i don't know the fender covers are a little strange i guess in my opinion i'll go with primary just so it looks a little cleaner because the, the stock ones look a little strange the way they're indented so i think that it looks a little better with those but we don't need armor throw race brakes on all right let's check out front bumpers so all right let's see so we got primary so i mean not too many bumpers it all it really is changing it looks like is the lip and also just in case you're wondering these lights are functional i don't know in my opinion they look a little strange but if you like them they they are functional which is kind of cool all right head over to the rear bumpers so oh we got some carbon fiber the bumpers in my opinion are like nothing too significant about them i guess the primary gt one's probably pretty probably the nicest one i think we'll slap on our engine upgrades let's see what kind of exhausts we got holy crap this exhaust is so unrealistic it's not even funny it looks like it's flat like pixelated all right let's see what kind of front fenders we got yeah that's kind of a little strange in my opinion because the fender breakaway points like the body lines are a little strange to like change the color of them i don't know it's up to you i'm just gonna keep it stock though let's see girl i think this is probably the most classiest looking one i can see this one looking pretty nice depending on what color scheme you're gonna go yeah none of the hoods in my opinion are too great looking not even the stock one is like is that nice uh, it would have been nice if they had like a smooth one they're a little bit too like tuner looking to me for this type of vehicle and the reason why i come to ls customs is actually the headlights i love the way the white headlights look on everything that's the main reason why i come here i usually come here for headlights and then i'll head over to my auto shop so i can get all the paint colors let's see what kind of libraries we got i guess just a lot of stripes dazzle camouflage multicolor camo tech camo for plate we'll go with the black plate now what i want to do primary color i want to do a matte black the classic black this is strange to me like how can we change the roof color in this line color like i don't see any way to do it so i guess no matter what you do it's going to be two-tone so we might as well go secondary color on the hood then i guess the stock hood is secondary all right what color are we going to go with i guess we'll go with the green represent grove street and a matte black on our secondary Looks pretty sick. Let's see what kind of roof accessories we got. A lot of different roof racks. So we'll go with that one. So it matches the roof. Let's see what kind of skirts we have. Yeah, I don't know. Just a lot of standard ones. I'm gonna go with something that matches probably like I guess some primary maybe. I don't know. We got black lip in the front and the rear. So classic. And let's see what kind of spoilers are. Yikes. I don't really like the all the waves in the roof. It'd have been nice if it was just a straight one, but I'm just gonna keep none. And suspension, let's see how low it goes. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick. It goes really low. We'll go race transmission, turbo tuning, um, and the wheels. I usually like going with these mega deeps, but it kind of depends on how they look on the car. I think they look a little strange. I like the deep lips on them. I'm going to throw these on like the Fat Five style classic looking Camaro rims. Throw these blacks on. Uh, yeah, nothing really I like in there. Low grip tires. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll go with the limo tent. All right, let's go test it out. Much better. It still feels pretty sluggish. The braking and handling is well, but most likely just because it's, it's pretty slow. Just in case you want to see the inside. All right, yeah, that's it, man. I mean, it's a pretty sick looking car. 
I like it. It handles well. It's pretty slow, so I mean, are you going to use it a lot? I mean, I probably won't use it. So I can't say that I recommend it. If you have the money to spend and you like it, then sure, go ahead and get it. But um, I'd say it's a pass for me, unless you really like the vehicle. I kind of like it because I think it'd be cool to like get a group of people together and murked out Escalades and just like drive around just killing people, I guess. I don't know, killing stuff, blowing up shit, but there it is. And if you're wondering how to make the most money you can with your salvage yard, go ahead and check out this video right here. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, clap the room, I'm coming through. They wanna see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route.